Hi, I'm Brett. Today we've got a really good update on knock sensors. Now on the EJ series engines, or actually most modern day cars, they have this device or similar to tell the ECU or for the ECU to listen to your engine. And what you're actually looking at there is what is effectively is a microphone for your engine, which then sig sends a signal back to the engine control unit and allows the engine control unit to listen for knocking or pinging or whatever you may call. And what that is, is actually pre-ignition or uncontrolled combustion of the engine um, cylinders when the engine is running and it will typically sound in an extreme case like a glass full of marbles when you're shaking them under the bonnet of your car and it will typically sound like a rattle or a, that type of pinging noise. Now in this particular situation you can have a look at the knock sensor it's actually broken see how it's cracked so it actually will not work properly but it's actually held in place by a small bolt that goes through this crush tube and then I'll show you the brand new one we've fitted, which is a bit difficult to see. There it is. Yeah, you can just is. see it there. Yeah. All right. And, and what it does, it bolts to the block and it listens to the internal operating condition of the engine. And on a Subaru EJ series engine, or in the case of the, this is the you know, G, GC8 model, 2 litre, 2.5s. Um, it provides a very, very important reference piece of data back to the engine control unit to make sure your engine is running reliably. So what will happen is, um, in the case of this particular car, had a fault code on the dash, it was reporting. You can see, um, we'll drop in a, an image of the scan tool fault code here so you can see what I'm talking about. And we scan the ECU, come up with a fault code on the knock sensor. First thing you typically do is look and see if you can see if it's broken, and then you would typically check the wiring and connections back to the ECU as well. And in this particular situation, it was pretty obvious that the knock sensor was faulty. We've now replaced it with a brand new one. So these are the things that you need to be aware of. You know, I'm standing beside a car here which is effectively uh, 20 years old. Um, we're lucky we still have the G8 models in Australia because we don't have a rust problem, but the engines do um, have faults and failures over time. And these are the common things you need to be aware of, particularly if you're servicing your car yourself. Um, don't just assume changing the oil and filter is all you need. You need to sort of think outside the square and look at other things as well at the same time. And this is definitely one of those items you need to be aware of. So make sure you check your knock sensor. If you've got a fault code on the dash, don't assume you know what it is. You may have scanned it a couple of months ago, but guess what? You may have another fault code that you don't realize is there and you've actually got two fault codes. I've seen that happen as well. So regularly scan your fault codes, check it to make sure you know what they are. Get the fault code number. If you need to know what it is, you can look it up on the internet or you can contact us or through one of our partner networks around Australia for more technical support on how they may need to be replaced. But more importantly, make sure you analyze what the code is and just don't go and buy the part to replace it. Make sure you use common sense diagnostics and thinking outside the square and go, well, let's not just replace parts for the sake of parts, let's actually think about the code and the fault first. So um, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you check out our website, mrttuned.com.au for our partner um, technical updates on the power kit documents. Of course, you can go to mrtperformance.com.au for more technical info and stuff like that. But of course, anywhere in Australia, we do technical support for our partner networks and for a custom tune near you. But for today, I really hope this video has helped you learn more about your Subaru. Thanks for watching.